hello students welcome to shore of sus classes so today we'll be doing the fifth and sixth question of mathematics ssc cgl level examination of 2016 so let's get started so here we have question of a selling of a tape recorder so by selling a tape recorder for 140 rupees a man gains 4% means if we can consider it that is 140 rupees uh, 14 not 140 1040 it's so 1040 was the selling price for first one sp1 and then he gains 4% means that will be into 100 divided by 100 plus 4 so that would be 1040 into 100 divided by 104 so now this is if we just solve it then we will get 1000 so that is the selling price for when he is having the 4% of profit by selling it in 1040 now if he had sell it for 950 rupees then his loss will be which of this following so that is our question so now for the second selling price that is 950 so it is 950 and we have it 1000 so we can do it like loss that is equals to 1000 divide 1000 uh, minus 950 so clearly it's 50 rupees now we have to find it in a percentage as we can see the options are in percentage so let's see so for 1000 the loss is 50 rupees so when it's in percentage in 100 rupees that would be in 50 into 100 divided by thousand so here we have this as 5% so here option a will be the correct answer that is 5% so here we are done with this question let's see what we have in our next question so here we have asked what will be the percentage of increase the area of square when each of its sides is increased by 10% means if this is a square now when the length all the lengths its sides that is uh increased by 10% so increased by 10% by 10% then we have to the then the area is also increased that will be directly proportional to the increased area of the square so we have to find out what will be the percentage of the increased area so here how can we solve it okay so 10% increase means 10% increase that means 100 plus 10 by 100 right now that will be 110 divided by 100 and then it will be 1.1 so 1.1 times it increases now the area of square is 
directly proportionate to the square side length right so here what we can do as our formula says we have to for the area that is a square f so here we have this as a so if we square it that will be 1 point 1.1 whole square so 1.1 whole square means 1.21 now the uh, if we have increases the area by 10 percent this then the area will be 1.21 so if we just do it in percentage we will get 21 percent so here from our options we have 21 percent here in the option d so option d will be our correct answer for this question so let's see our next question here so here is this is the question about the jogging okay so every sunday jean jogs three miles for rest of the week each day he jogs one mile more than the previous day so we have to find out how many miles jean jogs in two weeks so let's find out how many miles jean jogs in one week so here let me write the days so sundays monday tuesday wednesday uh, thursday friday and saturday So now Sunday he jogs 3 miles. These are all in miles. So Monday of course he will jog for 3 plus 1 as it stated each day he jogs 1 miles more. So the Tuesday that will be 4 plus 1. So Wednesday 5 plus 1. Thursday 6 plus 1, Friday 7 plus 1, and Saturday 8 plus 1. So let's add up this 3 miles plus 4 miles plus 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So in total that is 42 miles in a week so here we have to find out how many miles in two weeks so 42 into 2 that makes 84 times or 84 miles i rather say 84 miles in two weeks so here we have 84 in option c so option c will be our answer for this math so thank you for watching this video